So I can't blame Christy Sides for everything tonight, like a lot of people are. Um, it's just in those crucial moments when they, when Caitlin went on that big run in the third quarter, and they got it. Um, I think they got it tied, and they they could never get the lead, man. It was the same thing against Minnesota last Friday. They just couldn't take the lead. Once they would have took the lead, the house would have erupted. And um, somehow Tammy Fick Benley always becomes the option when they're in these crucial games down the stretch. Um, Malia Boston, it's just um, – um, he says, why would you draw up a three for Leah Boston, not Kelsey or Lexi, who are top in the lead with threes? Chrissy Sides should have drew up plays for Kelsey, not hating on Boston. She did, but she didn't anticipate that Kelsey would get doubled <laughs> and Leah Boston would be left wide open. So she, instead of having Leah set the screen, you might want to have Caitlin set the screen. You might want to have Lexi set the screen. <laughs> So that they can't double Kelsey, but she, Christy doesn't think like that. Um, she probably thinks, let me go with my best screen so I can get a good screen. But you got to anticipate a, a good team, well coached. I mean, I got to get a, the aces, Becky Hammond. She sat on the bench with Greg Popovich for years. She's a great coach, man. Um, they, her team makes big plays, like when Kelsey Plum hit that three late. I mean, they always end up with an open three. When you fight and claw to get back in the game, they always end up with an open three or the balls down to Asia in the low post. And that's two things that they want, and they always get it when they need it. They might not get it all game, but when Las Vegas needs it, it finds its way in the post to, to Asia or the open, wide open three. And I'm convinced, man, they, they just don't know how to officiate Caitlin Clark. They just don't know how to. They have no clue. Um, so she's getting abused all game and getting – and listen, Jackie Young is doing what she's supposed to do. Jackie Young should have filed out of this game, but she didn't. She should have filed out in the third quarter, but they they let her play. Um can't fault Jackie Young for that. She's, she was very aggressive, and that's how she should have been. But Caitlin drew a lot of fouls that weren't called. Caitlin gets bumped on almost every shot, every two-pointer she makes. I would say 75% of the two-pointers she makes, she gets contact on. And she rarely gets an and one, very rarely. Um, so that tech on Caitlin Clark is the biggest disrespect I've seen to the game this season. Rest are just trying to make the game about themselves after already calling a rough game Wednesday. WNBA is ridiculous. I've never, ever said this, but the WNBA refs are targeting Caitlin Clark. This is a freaking joke. How do you call that technical? She leans in for contact on the three, and the refs give her an offensive foul. You either call nothing or you call that a defensive foul. Yeah, I've never seen that called an offensive foul. I've seen, I've, I've seen it called. Um, I knew she was going to get one because she's been complaining a lot lately, and I, I figured she was going to get one. Um, so, and and here's the thing: after Caitlin worked her way out of that slump. After Caitlin worked her way out of that slump, at the in, at the midway through the third to the end of the third, coming into the fourth, you kind of thought she was going to get a shot. She was going to have a bunch of stuff drawn up for her. But it's almost like in the fourth quarter, there was nothing drawn up for her to get a shot. She didn't take a shot until like five left in the um, In the, in the fourth, she and she just she went a long time without shooting. And yes, I know Las Vegas made adjustments and everything. They put Jackie Young back on. I don't, I don't think Jackie Young is 
the primary defender in the, in the third quarter when she went off. But still, you got to draw some stuff for her. She's hot. She's cooking, man. And it's like for her to come into the fourth coming off of that third quarter and did not touch the ball. I mean, not touch the ball, but did not have something draw. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you do it. A Corbin screen, an Iverson screen, I don't know, Iverson cut, a Corbin cut, whatever it is. I don't care what it is. You got to get her a shot within that first couple of possessions in the fourth quarter coming off of that hot third quarter. Um, and this right here is the tackle. I mean, look. <laughs> I saw Asia Wilson fussing all night. Becky Hammonds fussing all night. Jackie Young was whining and moaning all night. Kelsey Plum was crying and fussing all night. Um, so this whole notion that Caitlyn is the only one that does that, the cameras are on her. She's the star, but trust me, Kelsey Plum is arguing and in refs faces. So is... Um, So is um, Asia Wilson, and so is um, Jackie Young, and so is <laughs> Becky Hammond. So there you have that. I mean, these refs, they just don't know how to officiate her, man. And that last play, man, um, <laughs> the last possession when they were down three, I, I understand the frustration. I do, man. Trust me, I do. Um, <laughs> I, I, I do, man. I do. I, I have to admit, man, I, I kind of do. I do understand it now. Um, <laughs> I do. You have to allow Kelsey or um, Caitlin to take the shot. I don't care how bad the shot is. They have to be the one to throw it near the rim. Because that's what Aaliyah did. Aaliyah just threw it at the rim. A Kelsey off-balance shot double team would have been better than that. A Caitlin Clark shot from half court would have been better than Aaliyah taking that shot. Not because Aaliyah is not a good player, but because... <laughs> Caitlin Clark is Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell is Kelsey Mitchell. And you have them, and you're blessed to have them and you and for those moments, and they have to take those shots. They have to take those shots. You fought too hard against the refs, against the defending champions. You fought too hard to get back in that game to have a chance to win, to have a Leah boss and take a corner three to tie the game. In the, in the way in the seconds. It's just, you 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 can't fight that hard and that'd be the shot you get. And I get it. The Las Vegas does things. They, they, they switch. They force players to give up the ball. You got to find a way to have Kelsey Mitchell or Caitlin Clark take that shot. Christy size. And going forward into the playoffs, you have to. And that's only if Caitlin doesn't get suspended because if Caitlin gets suspended for a game, you, you know, if she gets a tech in this next game, man, she's going to be suspended for the first playoff game. So we'll see, man. Um, I just, honestly, it, <laughs> what a rough week for Kathy Engelbert, man. The players were calling for her head early in the week. Now she has the Hope and pray that her officials are smart enough not to give Caitlin Clark a seventh tech and have her miss the first playoff game. <laughs> She's got to hope her refs are smart enough. Should she send a memo? That's what I want to know, guys. Should Kathy Engelbert send a memo to the refs? <laughs> That under no circumstances do you give Caitlin Clark a tech in this next game. (laughs) 
I mean, <laughs> I think they got two games left. So yeah, in these next couple of games, you you can't. She can't get another tech in the rest of the season. You gotta, you got you. you Kathy, I don't know if you interfere with the game like that because, I mean, I don't think you want to do that because if people find out, then God, wait, man. So you get, you, you, don't, you don't want to do that. You don't want to get tell the rest because what if one of them gets mad one day and then writes a book or something? <laughs> or one of them gets fired like they all should in the offseason and <laughs> – And they, uh, you know, <laughs> expose you, or one of them gets goes on a date with one of those Project Veritas chicks. <laughs> so I mean, you, you really can't say anything to. You just gotta hope that the refs are smart enough not to um, do that. Um, Are they smart enough? I don't know. Just judging from what we've seen, I don't know if they're they're smart enough. Um, I don't know if they're smart enough, man. Get in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, donate.